distinct laws which were passed in Nazi Germany. There's an eerie similarity between what we are, may pass today and those laws, the right citizenship laws. Sir, without any rhetoric, allow me to make my point citing history. In 1933, so basically what I'm trying to prove in the next three minutes or four minutes is how we have drawn or the people who've drafted this bill have drawn from the Nazi copybook. One. 1933. 1933 concentration camps. 2018 detention camps. By the way, in these detention camps, 60% of those people in the detention camps are who? They are Bengali Hindus. 1935, read the right citizenship law which protects those with German blood. What do we have today? We have a faulty citizenship bill. We are criticizing it because they're trying to define who true Indian citizens are. We are criticizing this bill as we go along on legitimate grounds. Third, 1935, the focus back to the Nazis. You needed an identity to prove your Aryan line, lineage. So what did you have? You were given an ancestor pass. What is it today, 2019? You rely on a piece of paper to prove your Indian citizenship. Forget about deemed citizens. 1940 is very interesting, sir. That was the plan to deport the Jews. What do they call it? They called it the Madagascar plan. What do we have? We have the Maha plan also known as the NRC. Number five, the Germans called it the Grossa Luga. In English, this is actually the Grossa Luga, Luga was a term coined by Hitler. And in English, it meant big lie. This is very interesting, sir. Today, a big lie, because if you keep lie, 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 it will sound like the truth. What is the lie today? India is under threat. Bharat khatre mein hai. This is the kind of language which is being used. Sir, that is the big lie. The sixth similarity, it was called the Lugan Press. The Lugan Press was lies and propaganda being pushed against the Jews. And today's equivalent of the Lugan Press is the fake news and the media being pressurized to, to push the fake agenda. And the last one, sir, in the German copy book, they referred to a very interesting word. The Jews were referred to as rats. Rats. And as someone said, once powerful politicians start using dehumanizing language, what happens after that? Termites. What are we talking about today? Termites, cockroaches, vermin. These words are not used by some party worker. These words are being used by the Prime Minister sometimes and the Home Minister.